Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to my Vim series here on Learn Linux TV. In previous episodes, we talked about the various, you know, modes of Vim. There's several modes like normal mode, command mode, and things like that. But there's also another one that we haven't even looked at yet, visual mode. So what is visual mode? Well, how about I dive right back into Vim and I'll show you exactly what it can do for us. So what we'll do is open up a file. It should be an existing file. It doesn't matter which one. Just go ahead and open any file you want to open. I have a few different files here that I can work with, but what I'll do is just choose the updated file.txt since that's the largest of all of these. So I'll open up that one. And here we have the file. Now visual mode is activated by pressing V on your keyboard. At first, nothing happens other than the fact that it says visual there at the bottom left corner of the screen. But as you move the cursor around with the arrow keys, for example, you'll notice that everything is changing color. So I'm essentially highlighting an area of text. So I could just go ahead and just play around with this and get the selection exactly where I want it. And that'll allow me to do things like copy and paste. But one thing we want to do, especially if we want to copy and paste text, is we want to first position the cursor where we want the copying to begin. So let's say, for example, I want to copy this line right here. So to start the process in normal mode, what I'll do is navigate the cursor all the way to the beginning of where I want to start copying. Then I'll activate visual mode by pressing V. And now we are in visual mode. And I'll just press the right arrow until this entire line is highlighted. But I don't want to go too far here. What I want to do is have the cursor on the last character that I want to copy. Now what I'll do to copy the text that I have highlighted is I'll type Y on the keyboard. That's short for yank. I want to yank the text essentially. And now I have exited visual mode. We no longer see visual mode at the bottom. And nothing else really seemed to happen at all other than the fact that I'm not in visual mode anymore. So what can I do now that I've highlighted that text and yanked it? Well, what I can do is paste it. So I could just go to the end of the line in insert mode, for example, and then add a new line. I'll press escape to go back to normal mode. And then I can paste it in by pressing letter P which is actually short for put, but I often say paste because well, P is for paste as well, and it does fit the definition of what I'm doing. But actually I'm putting text on this line. And if I press P to do that, it's going to paste the line that I've copied or yanked in visual mode. And every time I press P, it's just going to keep pasting or putting that text where my cursor is. And just like before, I could just use U to undo until I'm back to the original file. Actually, one more time. Now I have the original line right there and I've undone all the changes that I've made. But what we've learned here so far is that visual mode is activated by pressing V. And then after you do that, you can move the arrow keys around to select a portion of text. And that allows us to grab that text so we can put it back on the screen later on when we need it. We could also cancel visual mode by pressing escape, even without yanking or copying text, we could just press escape and that gets us back to normal mode. However, copying and pasting text is not the only thing that we could do in visual mode. Another trick that I like to give newcomers is a trick that allows you to alphabetize text. So let's say for example, I want to alphabetize every line of config underneath the headings. So here we have server string, then we have name down here at the bottom. So it's not in alphabetical order and you don't really have to alphabetize anything in Linux. This is just a random example. But anyway, what I wanna do is go to the first character where I want to start sorting. In this case, it's this one right here. B for visual mode, let's highlight everything. We'll move the cursor to the last character that's associated with what we're trying to accomplish here. And then right here from visual mode, we'll type colon, and check this out, we have a little command prompt down there. So what I'll do is type sort and then UI, just like that, and pay attention to the text that's highlighted. It's going to be alphabetized, so I'll press enter. 
And that's exactly what happened. So I'll do the same thing down here. Again, V for visual select, visual mode right here. So let's go ahead and highlight everything here. And then straight from here, without switching to any other mode, we'll just go straight to colon, sort UI. And now that one's sorted. And we go down here, same thing. Let's sort all of these as well. Now, of course, there's not really much that we gain here when it comes to alphabetizing things in a config file other than being able to find things easier. But it's an example of how to sort things in visual mode, so I figured I would show you guys how to do that. Now, before I close out this video, there's a few more things that I want to show you guys. And these don't necessarily fit in any other episode, but they're just a few random things that I want to give you guys that'll help you learn even more about Vim. And the first of the tips that I'm going to give you is how to find and replace. Now, if I scroll through here, I have force user, I have security equals user. Now, if I go through this file, we have a username right here, SMB user. We also have that here as well. So as you can see, we have that particular username a few times in this file. Obviously, just having something in here twice isn't going to make it all that hard to manually correct it, but we could just assume that this is something that I have in the file a bunch of times here. What I want to do is do a simple find and replace. And a good use case for something like this is if you are watching one of my tutorials, for example, maybe you're watching the Samba video that I've done where this, you know, text actually came from, and you want to change the username to your username, that could be an example of something that you might want to do. So let's take a look at how to find and replace. And we're going to do that from command mode. So I'll type colon. I'm not going to give you a full tutorial on editing strings of text, but this is a very useful one. So we'll type percent %s and then slash. Then we're going to type in what we want to replace. And as we type, matches will be highlighted, as you see here, which is pretty cool. Then slash. And then after that, we type what we want it changed to. So every occurrence of SMB user, maybe I want that changed to my name, J, just like that. Then we'll close the command with a slash and then a G, just like that. So if you memorize anything when it comes to command mode, when it comes to finding and replacing text, this is a great way to do it. You could just memorize this syntax, percent %s slash, the word you want to change, slash, what you want it changed to, slash, and then G, and just follow that format anytime you want to accomplish a task like this. Anyway, I'll press enter and check it out. Force user changed from SMB user to my user. I could do the same thing when it comes to the group. So in command mode, I could press the up arrow to recall the previous command that I've just entered. And maybe I want to change SMB group to my name as well. If I have a group that's named after my user, which most people probably will. Maybe I want to change that as well, so I'll press enter. And that's exactly what happened. And again, this is the command right here that I used to accomplish that with. Now, another trick that I wanna show you is how you can move very quickly between the very beginning of the file and the end of a file. So if I type GG, just the letter G twice in succession, that takes me immediately to the very beginning of the file. Now, if I hold shift, and then type G, you know, a capital G, that takes me to the very end of a file. So again, GG, the top, capital G, takes me to the end of the file. So if you wanted to move back and forth between the top and the bottom of a file, for example, that's one way that you could do that. And I think that's enough for now. I don't want to overload you guys. So I'm going to close this particular episode right here. Now, the thing is, I want you guys to take your time like I mentioned earlier, focus on the fun of learning that'll carry you through learning. Be sure to focus on that. Don't try to rush anything or stress yourself out or anything like that. Just take your time, have some fun, and you'll learn all there is to know about Vim or everything that you need to know to be productive with Vim in no time. And that's exactly what you'll learn by the end of this series. So again, take your time and it'll come naturally. Anyway, with that said, I should have the next episode already uploaded on my channel. So whenever you're ready, I'll see you there.